Command line completion, also tab completion is a common feature of command line interpreters, in which the program automatically fills in partially typed commands. Command line interpreters are programs that allow a user to interact with the underlying operating system by typing commands at a command prompt using a command line interface (CLI). in contrast to pointing and clicking a mouse in a graphical user interface GUI. Command line completion allows the user to type the first few characters of a command, program, or file name, and press a completion key normally tab to fill in the rest of the item. The user then presses return or enter to run the command or open the file. Command line completion is useful in several ways, as illustrated by the animation accompanying this article. Commonly accessed commands, especially ones with long names, require fewer keystrokes to reach. Commands with long or difficult to spell filenames can be entered by typing the first few characters and pressing a completion key, which completes the command or filename. In the case of multiple possible completions, some command line interpreters, especially Unix shells, will list all possible completions beginning with those few characters. The user can type more characters and press tab again to see a new, narrowed down list if the typed characters are still ambiguous, or else complete the command filename with a trailing space. An alternate form of completion rotates through all matching results when the input is ambiguous. Completable elements may include commands, arguments, file names and other entities, depending on the specific interpreter and its configuration. Command line completion generally only works in interactive mode. That is, it cannot be invoked to complete partially typed commands in scripts or batch files, even if the completion is unambiguous. The name tab completion comes from the fact that command line completion is often invoked by pressing the tab key. History Tab completion showed up early in computing history. One of the first examples appeared in the Berkeley timesharing system for the SDS 940, where if a typed string were ambiguous, the interpreter would do nothing, but if the string was not ambiguous, it would automatically complete it without any command from the user. This feature did not work well with the all too frequent typos, and so was a mixed blessing. This feature was imitated by Tenix's developers who made an important change. Tenix used escape recognition, in which the interpreter would not attempt to autocomplete unless the escape key was struck thus the name by the user. The domain was also expanded from only program names on the Berkeley system to both program names and files on Tenix. Tenix implemented command line completion using the Macro 20 assembler call COMNDJSYS which fully described the interaction and implementation. From there it was borrowed by Unix. Example <laughs> 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 To open the file introduction to dash command dash line dash completion .html with Firefox, one would type Firefox introduction dash to dash command dash line dash completion .html. This is a long command to type. Instead, we can use command line completion. Topic. Prompting completion The following example shows how command line completion works in Bash. Other command line shells may perform slightly differently. First we type the first three letters of our command. Fur. Then we press tab and because the only command in our system that starts with fur is Firefox. It will be completed to Firefox 
Then we start typing the file name Firefox I. But this time introduction dash to dash command dash line dash completion dot html is not the only file in the current directory that starts with i. The directory also contains files introduction dash to dash bash dot html and introduction dash to dash firefox dot html. The system can't decide which of these file names we wanted to type, but it does know that the file must begin with introduction to, so the command will be completed to Firefox introduction to. Now we type C. Firefox introduction to C. After pressing tab, it will be completed to the whole file name. Firefox introduction dash to dash command dash line dash completion dot html. In short, we typed for tab i tab c t a b. This is just eight keystrokes, which is considerably less than fifty-two keystrokes we would have needed to type without using command line completion. Topic. Rotating completion The following example shows how command line completion works with rotating completion, such as Windows's CMD uses. We follow the same procedure as for prompting completion until we have Firefox I. We press tab once, with the result Firefox introduction dash to dash bash dot html. We press tab again, getting Firefox introduction dash to dash command dash line dash completion dot html. In short, we typed for tab i tab tab. This is just seven keystrokes, comparable to prompting style completion. This works best if we know what possibilities the interpreter will rotate through. Topic: <laughs> Completion in different command line interfaces. Unix shells, including Bash, the default shell in most Linux distributions, and Mac OS X and KSH, among many others, have a long-standing tradition of advanced and customizable completion capabilities. Bash programmable completion has been available since the beta version of 2.04 and offers at least path name and file name completion. For corn shell users, file name completion depends on the value of the editor variable. If editor is set to V, you type part of the name, and then escape. If editor is set to Emacs, you type part of the name, and then escape, escape. The Z shell ZSH pioneered the support for fully programmable completion, allowing users to have the shell automatically complete the parameters of various commands unrelated to the shell itself, which is accomplished by priming the shell with definitions of all known switches as well as appropriate parameter types. This allows the user to e.g. type tar xzf tab and have the shell complete only tar gzip archives from the actual file system, skipping files which are incompatible with the input parameters. A modern ZSH installation comes with completion definitions for over 500 commands. TCSH offers default file, command, and variable name completion activated using tab. The complete built-in command provides fully programmable completion. The source code comes with a complete.tcsh file containing many examples of its completion syntax. Windows PowerShell, the extensible command shell from Microsoft, which is based on object-oriented programming and the Microsoft.NET framework, provides powerful and customizable completion capabilities similar to those of traditional Unix shells. The CMD.x command processor of Windows NT-based systems supports basic completion. 
It is possible to use a separate key binding for matching directory names only. CMD.XF on enables file and directory name completion characters caret f and caret d by default. Use CMD.X for more information. Tweakui can be used to configure the keys used for file name and directory name completion. The MS-DOS command processor command, COM did not have command line completion, pressing the tab key would just advance the cursor. However, various enhanced shells for MS-DOS, such as 4DOS, the Fritos version of command, COM, or the enhanced DOS key, COM feature Unix-style tab completion. FAR Manager apart from its file management functions provides command history and line completion for Windows. See also Autocomplete Command line interface Comparison of computer shells Shell